Thank you for um, coming today. My name is Rachel. I am presenting on my research I did with um, at the University of Oregon on diversity, equity, inclusion in the graduate level education. Originally, this was called cultural competency in cultural graduate programming. However, um, cultural competency, I pretty much understand that to be you are competent in something, but cultural competent, like to understand cultural differences in academia is something that's continuous. So my presentation, oops, it's a basic outline about the methodology, the qualitative findings, which led us to the qualitative, how to form the questions, recommendations, and reflection on this project. So the methodology that we use, I worked with another, um, person, um, another, my co, my co lead on this project. The program was at the University of Oregon. It is a program that prepares students for community regional planning, working with policy and general social services and how this pro project started. There was students um, commented on how they felt unprepared to address inequities with marginalized, underrepresented communities, and they wanted to build those skills. And this was a project that we were commissioned to investigate this issue. And so we, had, um, we implemented a Qualtrics survey with 41 participants, quantitative, qualitative interviews with 16, and then research, and we provided recommendations. So the qualitative findings was based around basically people wanting to learn about DEI or diversity, equity, inclusion in the program and through curriculum. They felt not as prepared and also the way to understand issues that in fact, um, understand issues that impact and how to work with marginalized underrepresented communities. So based on our Caltrex survey, this is what we found about why is this important to your field, how well the, the curriculum is dealt with in the classroom, through so facilitations, actual readings, examples, so forth, or case studies, if feeling prepared. I'm just going through this quickly because the limited time I have, and interest in taking these courses to better serve the communities and if it should be a professional part of professional development or a standalone course. And so meaning professional development in this department, they have professional development class which teaches you how to do presentations, use like computer programs like Excel and um, Word. What else? And also like developing your resume and cover letter and this would be part of that curriculum for de personal, professional development, and also, or if it should be required course. So based on the comments that was given to the survey, a lot of the comments reflected that understanding like the, the lack of, the students feeling that the faculty is not as prepared to have these discussions because of either their personal research or lived experience, that this is something very important to talk about DEI issues in curriculum to help better prepare. And also, other the students' own personal attitude if some people felt this was something that was valuable to them or not. So based on the qualitative, the, quanti the quantitative data, the Qualtrics survey, we formed four questions about student buy-in, like why does students support this DEI education to be implemented and how their positive experiences in the classroom, how they overall dealt with their experience within the department and also input from students who took other classes in other departments or other like outside learning experiences and how that impacted them and how they felt about those experiences. So with classroom environment that the main issue that stood out from reading, from analyzing the data and also noting what 
issues came up often was not all students were heard and especially students from marginalized underrepresented communities such as students of color, LBTQ students and others weren't have it was not put as equal weight or not equally respected as cisgendered white males that are spoke up in the classroom and they were seen as more valid in t talking about issues that pertain to the subject in this department. That how equity and diversity is discussed within the classroom, that it's either something very taboo and very ner people are nervous to talk about, and also the importance of learning about history and critical race theory, gender theory, and so forth to help students become more effective agents of change or to participate within their future careers. that students did not feel the conversations were well facilitated, that often this is gonna be brought up often in this presentation, that white privilege isn't something, a taboo subject to be talked about, that students feel culturally, emotionally taxed to bring up these discussions and explain p those, the experience of the marginalized community from their own personal perspective or personal lived experience and also how conversations are facilitated if faculty or staff is able to facilitate these conversations or have the, the knowledge to facilitate. So based on these themes brought up in the Qualtrics survey and the qualitative interviews, we are able to identify five main points that were brought up. So students don't take courses to improve their skills, even though they are important. That the department, that the department I was doing this research with, that they do offer classes such as policy making that impacts immigrant communities, gender issues, so forth, but they're not required, they're extracurricular, they're not, not part of the um, curriculum, and it's up to the students to take these classes. That the student, there's assumption from faculty or, to, that students know everything, that even concepts of diversity, equity, inclusion, um, cultural competency, that it's already assumed that the students already know about these subjects instead of students not being familiar and like reinforcing these concepts to them. And also how these skills are taught outside the curriculum, outside the department, not within this department. And also understanding from that students really feel passionate about learning about diversity, equity, inclusion, how to advocate for marginalized underrepresented communities, how to under, better understand or re out, reach out to these communities. So based on our findings, we did research on these issues and how to better address them, what, what what, research, what resources are available at, on the campus and also what other, depart, other universities with similar programs are implementing currently. So based on our research is we, the four points that were brought up is bring, building a culture of respect and equity that building that culture would look like through curriculum, services that the department would provide, increase diversity in the department, meeting either staff, graduate students, graduate, graduate teaching fellows, and representation, and direct cultural competency, not only in the curriculum, but also in the services that provide, and also the importance of faculty action that faculty is leading this call, and it's not all depending upon students. So as I mentioned before, faculty leading this charge, that, that's the top-down approach to have, it to have equity, inclus equity, diversity, and inclusion to be physically shown through the department's vision statement, mission, so forth, and so uh, either on their website, in and advertisements for their programming, so forth. And also that the University of Oregon does have many programs to help 
faculty with t being more inclusive in their curriculum or teaching style, such as teaching efficiency program, which helps faculty build on their skills to facilitate and educate within, the, within issues on diversity, equity, and inclusion. So also increased department diversity, either through hiring staff who, faculty staff who has research dealing with issues that impact diverse communities, underrepresented communities, also representation of student workers. When we talk about economic inequalities, that does impact marginalized com underrepresented communities and giving them the availability to help support and retain them as um, hired by the department and also showing that other schools within Oregon also has, they, they provide scholarship for supporting research on DEI issues. That there needs to be a professional development skill set for supporting faculty and, develop, and to help build these skills of teaching DEI. Also b building the usage of theory within the classroom. I'm sorry, I'm just going through so I have enough time for questions. And the faculty action is like to promote critical thinking that many different theories like, gen like critical race theory, gender theory, so forth will help students be able to be more efficient in DEI issues or working with marginalized communities. And the recommendations based on our findings, and I think I talk, touched on it before, that there's resources on campus that help with teaching more eff efficiently, and other schools also what pro what program they're implementing, and also follow follow that lead and and start to implement those practices in their own program. So my own personal reflection in doing this project is the number of responses that from our Qualtrics survey to in-person interviews, it dropped more than half, and how I would go about um, addressing that in f future projects that reflect this project. The demographics that we didn't take consideration of demographics based on race, gender, um, sex, so forth, because that could have better weighed out the information that we gathered, and also, the issue is like having everyone on board and understanding, having a common understanding of what these tr terms are, that every peop everyone has different understanding what DEI, what diversity, equity, inclusion, and cultural competency is, and stating like this is the definition that we're using in this project and having, so we have that commonality and understanding. And also making sure the staff is receptive to this report or project because it might lead up to, well, it led up to defensiveness and like feeling like defenses of because like this comes off as critical, but it's not, but the intention of like to make a more equitable program and department and it's coming from a place of what I consider love and concern instead of like a pa bad place. And pretty much that was the gist of it. And if there's any questions, go ahead and ask. <laughs>